Hi, this is Mark Sadowski at P&L Motorsports. Uh, I was asked Mark a few questions about um, the benefits of installing a sort of a new motor versus a salvage yard motor. Um, Mark, you had mentioned you know uh, the concept of replacing uh, uh, the used motor, the blown motor that I have with a short block. Can you explain what a short block is? Short block is basically the inner workings of the engine. Um, what's underneath the heads and because it's a boxer engine it's actually not in line so pistons go this way short block being the case that holds the pistons the rods and the crank and basically your uh, lower efficiencies of the engine and now a short block as opposed to say the whole motor what's the difference or why would you only get a short block versus say a whole motor short block is basically the easiest and cheapest route when there is uh, some type of catastrophic failure in the bottom end of the engine. Heads, doing a full long block which includes heads, cams, all your internal workings is going to cost you if not two to three times as much. So, so you save block. what's good and, oh, yeah. and the stuff that really doesn't uh, deteriorate. Doesn't yeah. Yep. Okay. And where do you get the short blocks from? OEM, brand new from Subaru. So they're brand new or are they remanufactured? No, they're actually brand new, brand oh, new castings. Nice. And everything. So the same motor that would go, say, into a new car? Or? Yep, exactly. Okay. Interesting. Um, what needs to be done, like, you know, what's the procedure you kind of go through when you take out an, an old motor or the old motor? And sort of my curiosity is what can you, what gets switched over and how do you sort of preserve things in that process? Well, like I was uh, stating with the long block, you just basically take the heads off slap the new heads on obviously you got to pull the engine inspect everything remachine the heads um, inspect the heads clean them go through the entire system timing belts idlers the whole gear set everything and you basically reassemble the engine you know obviously our tech works on it and um, the engine builder itself himself and we just slap everything back together make sure all the workings are okay make sure it cranks okay mm -hmm. put it back into the car and have yourself a brand new running engine. Okay, so more or less in layman's terms, it's sort of like the in sort of the bottom half of the engine or three quarters of the engine, I guess, the the block and the and the pistons and those yeah, sorts yeah. of things, and then the top part, which would be the um, manifolds, exhaust, and intake, and then it all gets swapped over. All gets swapped over. Okay, how about you know things like the AC and uh, brakes and all that that kind of stuff? Most of the time, regarding Subaru, you can get away with just pulling the AC apart and sending it off to the side without actually relieving the pressure. If you do, obviously you need to get it recharged. A um, whole new gasket kit goes along with it, everything from your manifold gaskets to your engine gasket kit. Mm -hmm. um, water pump, idlers, timing components essentially. Um, and that's the, that's the general gist of it before you just put it all back together. So you do change the timing belt and that sort of thing when you it's, have it apart? It's a, yeah, it's a recommendation. It's always up to the consumer and to the mm -hmm. customer you know, as just a peace of mind to do it when you get a new short block. When you have it apart and it's easier to get it, I would guess. Exactly. Okay. Um, you know, what's the price range for a short block? And I'm looking in, in terms of the benefit between getting a short block and a used motor. Why would I go with a, a, new, a short block? And, you know, I know it's probably going to cost a little bit more than a used motor, but what's the benefit of it? Well, the benefit of a, of a new motor is not only peace of mind, knowing that you have a brand new cast, basically from Subaru, um, but the price range does differentiate between a used motor with just new pistons put into it, which is going to be anything between six to nine hundred dollars, and a brand new short block being somewhere around two to twenty two hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. So the benefits outweigh the you know outweigh what you're going to get with the used motor only because of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, say the motor that's in my car now, common question would be, why can't you just fix that versus getting a short block? Well, think about it this way. If you take your motor, you split the castings apart, you have to put it all back together, hone it, machine it, clean it, um, put new rods in it, put new bearings in it, put new pistons and rings and everything, you're basically going to be paying out the same money individually instead of just doing a whole new motor that's already assembled putting the heads on putting everything else back into it and putting back in the car You're, mm -hmm. you we've actually seen that you can spend more on actually putting everything in piece by piece than right just doing it all. okay that makes sense now what's going to happen to the old motor they you just put it out for scrap or does that get rebuilt or do you guys reuse them for something else or? um it's pretty much uh Sometimes the consumer would like it back and just put new pistons in it, have it as a spare. 
sometimes we actually do you know use it as a, a future race motor to put mm -hmm. sleeves in it or something and to tell you the honest truth, most of the times they're not salvageable and they just get tossed. Right, right. What, uh, you know, about P&L Motorsports, what, uh, what's your uh, forte here? What do you guys really uh, specialize in? Uh, Subarus. Yeah. But uh, we work on a lot more than just Subarus. Everything from Nissans, uh, Toyotas, Mitsubishis, everything from Evos to your standard general maintenance, you know, Toyota, your Mitsubishi general maintenance on a Honda, whatever. Everything up to, you know, full-blown drag cars, time attack cars, rally cars, everything you need. Well, you guys do a lot of work with uh, different kind of racing cars or rally mm -hmm. cars and that sort of thing, don't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Well, I mean, we've, uh, we've, we tend to uh, say that we, we know what we're doing around a Subaru. So, uh, I mean, we do everything from, you know, custom cages, you know, NHA, NHRA spec, you know, SCCA spec, the whole spiel. Everything so I've come to the right place to work on a Subaru. Mine's like a walk in the park. Oh, yeah. Stock Subaru. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yours is okay. going to be a uh, tiptoe around and just uh, get it all back together as fast as we can. All right. Thanks a lot, Mark. I really Thank appreciate you. it.